welcome back. Joining me now to celebrate International Women's Month is local designer and entrepreneur. Hi, Abigail. Thanks for coming in. Hi, Chelsea. Thanks for having me. Tell us all about Shop ALW and how you got started. Yeah, so Shop ALW was started by me and my mom. Um, during COVID, we teamed up to hand sew masks in our basement. There was such a demand that we were sewing every single day in our free time. And with that, I knew I really wanted to start a small business, just didn't know what. Mm -hmm. And that really gave me an idea of what it looked like to really run a small business. So after that, we started creating and designing. We've been working on this for a few years now and have been launched for three months. Oh my goodness, okay, yes. very brand new. So how did you get into designing bags? We went from masks to bags. <laughs> yes, so I knew I, like I said, I knew I always wanted to be in something creative. I just didn't know what. So my mom called me one day and said, hey, what do you think about making purses? And I said, I don't know. But with a lot of thought and time and design processes, um, everything's came to work out beautifully. So we're really happy. Where do you find the inspiration? We're seeing obviously your bags that you brought in and they're super cute and, and unique. How do you find the inspiration for your designs? Yeah, so you know, I find a lot of inspiration off of the latest trends and styles, but I love to put my own unique twist on things, uh, whether that's having a bag with a cheetah pattern, um, the crocodile style or corduroy. So I really try to involve lots of different pattern styles into the brand and try to make something for everyone. And where do you sell your products? So we are online okay. and you can shop at www.shop-alw.com. Um, we also do sell through Instagram, so you can always send us a DM on there. Okay, walk us through the design process of when you're handcrafting these bags. Yeah, so you obviously want to start with a vision. You need to have an idea in mind of what you want to make. So we start with that and then comes a pattern. And followed by that is cutting each piece individually. It's very intricate. Mm -hmm. So after that's done, we sew everything on an industrial sewing machine. Um, my mom is actually the fabricator and I do the rest of the work. So. We really make a great team when it comes to craftsmanship and design. I love it, the mother-daughter duo. Yes. Uh, let's talk about the event that you have coming up uh, next week, right? Yes, um, so next week is Buffalo's Restoration Fashion Show, uh, March 13th at 500 Pearl Forbes Theater. Um, so by attending, you will contribute to helping those with mental health issues, disabilities, um, sobriety issues, and just kind of overall helping their well-being and independence. So it's going to be a great show for a great cause and lots of different designers involved. Alrighty, nice. We'll be having them on the show next week to talk about it. But how did you get involved in the show, especially being so new? Yeah, so marketing is very powerful, I'm learning, mm -hmm. um, through social media. So I actually just started to follow a bunch of different accounts, you know, to gain those followers back. And the director reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to be involved. And I was on cloud nine and said yes right away. And it's been a journey ever since. How cool. OK, very exciting. Your first fashion show coming up. Yes. Um, you know, obviously, we brought you in not only because we love your work, but we're celebrating women and women-owned businesses this month. So talk about some of the challenges that you faced and had to overcome being a woman running your own business. Yeah, so it definitely has its challenges, I've realized. Um, you know, working with a lot of people in the industry is very male dominated. Mm -hmm. um, so when I do find myself coming to events and different shows, it's almost in a sense you have to prove yourself. Um, so it's been a challenge and very fun, but I'm very excited to be in business with my mom. What do you see for the future of Shop ALW? So of course I would love to keep creating new styles. That's always the goal. Um, we do have the fashion show coming up and I just hope to be a part of as many festivals and shows that I can be. Is there any dream celebrity that you would be like, I would love it, I would die if they wore one of my bags? Oh my goodness, I would say Hailey Bieber. She's just such an uh, inspiration and icon for me. Mm -hmm. So if she wore one of my bags, I would be, uh, 
over the moon. Okay, we'll keep DMing her until yes. she Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Well, congrats on your success. You've got beautiful designs. And viewers, if you would like to find Abigail's products, you can do so by visiting her website at shop-alw.com or be sure to find her at the upcoming Restoration Fashion Show at the Forbes Theater on March 13th. Thanks again, Abby. Thank you so much.